The following is a Mentera presentation of a 100 gig Ethernet demo. This video is best viewed in full screen mode. In this demo, we will demonstrate Mentera's 100 gig Ethernet Mac and PCS FPGA IP cores targeted for a Xilinx Vertex 6 HXT. The diagram on this slide describes the hardware setup. On the bottom right is a Xilinx Vertex 6 HXT FPGA development board developed by Hitech Global and distributed by Mentero. On the top right is a CFP carrier module also developed by Hitech Global with a SunThor CFP plug-in transceiver module. On the left is a standard PC running a GUI application developed by Mantero for configuring and controlling the demo setup via a USB interface. Now let's take a quick look at the actual hardware setup. Here's the 100 gig FPGA development board with the Xilinx Vertex 6 HXT underneath the fan. Over here on the right is the 100 gig CFP carrier module connected to the development board through high speed connectors. A SunThor 100 gig CFP transceiver is installed with a fiber connected in loopback. Before showing you the GUI application that is controlling the actual 100 gig Ethernet demo, let's review in more detail the elements and FPGA blocks that comprise the demo. In the block diagram shown here, the light blue shaded block titled Vertex 6 HX380T is the Xilinx FPGA that contains all of Mantera's IP cores and other peripheral code. As the diagram shows, there is a 100 gig layer 2 Ethernet packet generator and checker inside the FPGA. Generated packets pass through the transmit MAC and PCS blocks and the 10 gig Xilinx GTH transmitters before being routed to the CFP module through the AirMax connector using 10 by 10 gig links. Packets are then retimed by NetLogic FIs on the CFP carrier module before being sent to the 100 gig WDM CFP transceiver. The transceiver has a single mode fiber interface which currently is connected with a fiber and loopback. Receive packets from the CFP transceiver are routed to the NetLogic FIs with a receive EDC that retimes the packets before sending them to the FPGA development board. Similar to the transmit side, the receive packets pass through the 10 gig Xilinx GTH receivers and the receive PCS and MAC blocks. The receive packets then go to the 100 gig layer 2 packet checker inside the FPGA. The GUI application, which is used to configure the setup for the demo, is also used to check the packets and generate statistics. Now, let's take a look at the GUI and run the demo. First, we will configure the Vertex 6 FPGA through JTAG using Xilinx Impact tool. Let's open the GUI application while the FPGA gets programmed. Now, the first step is to open the COM port, in our case COM2, and get the FPGA revision to make sure the USB to UART interface is running. After successful connection, we will run some scripts we have created. The first one is to configure the onboard clock synthesizer. And the second one is to configure the FPGA registers for fixed length Ethernet traffic generation. Now the Ethernet traffic is set up. We will go to the debug registers tab, select all and read registers for traffic statistics. We can see that the generator packet count and check packet count is incrementing and there are no error packets. Now we can check some MAC core statistics like CRC error and length error counts. We can also get various ARMON statistics for different error conditions, packet length distributions, and unicast and multicast packet counts. We are generating 1500 byte packets in this test. There is also a bandwidth monitoring functionality added to the GUI application for fixed length packet tests. First read the packet size and then start the bandwidth monitoring test. It shows the data rate for receive and transmit MAC. As you can see the GUI application will also update it in real time. You can also see a graphical view of the monitor. The blue line shows the current data rate. Now we will remove the fiber from the CFP module. As you can see, the data rate drops off down to zero. And then it comes back after we reconnect the fiber. I will let this run for 15 to 20 seconds more so you can watch the graph update in real time. Now, we'll quickly run the random packet generation test following the same steps as before. 
We'll first execute the script for configuring the onboard clock, and then we'll run the script to configure the FPGA registers for random packet generation. Let's cycle through the various tabs and check counter values and statistics. As you can see, the transmit packet count and the receive packet count are incrementing, and the error count is zero. The bandwidth monitoring function is not supported for random Ethernet traffic, and the GUI will notify you that we are running random length mode tests. So as you can see, there are no errors being reported by the traffic checker. Read the counters multiple times to make sure that there are no errors reported. Here, I'm pressing the read register button several times, and you can see the transmit pack account and the receive pack account incrementing, but the error count is still zero. This slide shows the FPGA resource utilization for the Mantera 100 gig Mac core, which can also run in 40 gig mode. And this slide shows the FPGA resource utilization for the Mantera 100 gig PCS core. For more information, please visit Mantera's website or give us a call. Thank you.